Welcome to the new and improved Transit Sports. Uh, same show, different format. Uh, we got a new member to the group. His name is Cam. And uh, you guys know Josh already, and I'm your host, Mark. So, to start off, yes, sir. who do you think will win their second round matchup? Boston versus Carolina. Josh? I'm going to pick Carolina. They've been there before, they've got the experience. And I think they'll get to the Cup Finals this year, so I'm going to Carolina. Okay. Boston, they've had a very good season. Why should they now? All right. Moving on. Red Wings, Anaheim. Josh? Uh, I'm going to pick Anaheim only because I picked Detroit to be out of the playoffs last round, so I don't see how they could get to the next round, basically. And Anaheim's got a tough team. they got skill as well. So I look for them to win this round. Red Wings, a lot of talent, a lot of experience. Simple. Alright, next up, Washington, Pittsburgh. Josh? I'm going to go with Pittsburgh, although I really like Washington in this, but uh, Pittsburgh, they've got the experience from last year. I think it will serve them well in this uh, occasion, and I think Crosby, for this one time, will outplay Ovechkin. This is going to be a very good series, but... Pittsburgh has better goaltending than Washington, therefore I pick Pittsburgh. Alright, we're looking at a sick rivalry, guys. Uh, next one, also very crazy sick rivalry, we got Vancouver, Chicago. Josh. I like Vancouver in this. I think they're making it to the Cup Finals. They got goaltending, they got depth with the addition of Sundin, they got Boros, which is bursting out right now, and they're just right now they're probably the best team in the playoffs to me. So I pick Vancouver. Okay. Chicago, they're very young, very exciting team to watch. Although it all depends on how Luongo plays in this series. Good series to watch. Which will be very well. Okay. All right. Moving on from topic, we're uh, looking at the uh, nominees for the awards coming up. Um, so the first question: Who will win the Vesna Trophy? We've got three candidates. We've got Steve Mason, Tim Thomas, and Nicholas Backstrom. So Josh. Ah. Alright, for this one I'm going to pick Tim Thomas only because of the statistics he's shown this year. Number one in goals against average and save percentage. Although Steve Mason had a very stellar year for the Columbus Blue Jackets this year. Okay. Steve Mason had a very good season this year. He was the reason why the Columbus Blue Jackets made it to the playoffs. I think he should win them the trophy. Bye. Good points. We'll see. Next question. Who will win the Norris Trophy? We've got three candidates again. Mike Green, we've got Nicholas Lindstrom, and Chara. So, Josh? I think this stretch will be unanimous. I'm going with Mike Green. He, had, he played only a bit over 60 games, over 30 goals this year, over 70 points, and a very good plus minus. I, think it, I believe it was above plus 20, so he's also good in his own end. Mike Green should win this year. All right, Cam? I'm going to agree with Josh. Mike Green is a very offensive defenseman. He should win this trophy. No the next question, uh, who will win the Calder Trophy? Three candidates again, Chris Versteeg, Steve Mason, and Bobby Ryan. Josh? I'm going to go with Steve Mason, goaltender of the Columbus Blue Jackets. If it wasn't for him this year, I don't believe they would have been in the playoffs. Nine shutouts, very good statistics as well in goals against average. I believe it was about 2.3. So a very stellar year for him, so he should win the Calder this year. Okay. I'm also going to agree with Josh on this one. Steve Mason stands out com more compared to the other players. He should win this trophy. Uh, who will win the Hart Trophy? So we we're looking at Ovechkin, Malkin, and Datsu. So Josh? I'm going to go with Ovechkin. The, the kid's got the whole package. He scores goals. And he, this year is becoming a lot more responsible in his own end. He's taking the leadership role on his team under the wing of Sergei Fedorov. So I believe without him on the team, the Capitals would be very poor. All right, you can. Ovechkin is a very good player, but I'm got to go with Malkin on this one. Pittsburgh did not have very good forwards, and Malkin is the reason why they made it to the playoffs, picking up the pieces on that team. All right, so the next question is, uh, who you guys see being the next Habs coach? Uh, we've got a few names here. I've got seven names that uh, I'm going to bring up, and you guys can either 
say that uh, there's a possibility or shoot it down completely. So we'll start off with Bob Ganey. What do you think his situation will be with? Doesn't want to be coach. I don't think so. So I believe he will not be back. You? I do not think he'll be coach. He should just stick to general manager. That's all he's gonna My personal opinion, I think he should be gone. Uh, all right, Guy Carbono, Josh. I don't think you should bring back a coach that was here, especially if they decide to keep Kovalev. They did not click, so no. Okay. They just got rid of him, so why bring him back? Uh, third possibility, we're, we're hearing about Patrick Wild, but uh, I'm not sure on the likeliness of that, seeing how he's had a better chance of going with Avalanche, so, Josh? Yeah, I see him going to the Avalanche as well. Like, we've had bad history with rookie coaches these past 10 years, and even 15 years, dating back to Mario Trombley, so why keep going so he'll be the ass coach and then possibly our coach? Okay. I don't see him at the Habs right away as a coach, maybe a goalie coach, but not a head coach. I don't think he'll stay. Be goalie coach though. He wants to be head coach. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, he's got a good thing going on with the Paul right now, so I, I doubt he'll disturb what's going on right now. Uh, Alright, Larry Robinson. Well, he got brought up uh, this past week. He said he would, if he was offered the job, he would take it. Personally, I'd take him as a defensive coach. Apparently, they offered him the job last year. There was rumors about that, and he declined. So he probably wants to be head coach, but I don't see it happening. Okay. There is a possibility of him being head coach, but I don't really see it happening. No, just uh, Bob Hartley. Okay, I, I like Bob Hartley. He, this is a coach that has experience. If Patrick was were to pick the, the coach, it would be Bob Hartley. He said it himself. He's won a cup with him. So I believe Bob Hartley is a good choice, but personally not my choice for the next coach. Okay. Bob Hartley is able to speak French. That's a good sign to be a coach with Montreal. The only thing is, is he didn't do so well with Atlanta, so I don't see him doing that well with a team like Montreal. Mm -hmm. But see, that's the thing, with the whole French-speaking thing, like, do you guys think it's, it's that necessary to have a French-speaking, like, coach for the Habs? Yeah, it is, but it shouldn't be, but it is. So you're not saying experience over, like, bilingualism? It is. You, you should take the best guy possible. But French is something that they're looking for. Definitely, yeah. Alright. Uh, next one, we're looking at Mark Crawford, so... Josh. Mark Crawford is my pick to be the next coach. He's won with the Avalanche. Uh, he, with the Kings, it wasn't so pretty, but he had success with the Canucks as well. He, he speaks a little bit of French back in his day when he was with the, the Quebec Nordiques. I don't know if he's lost it or anything, but I believe he should be the next coach of the Montreal Canadiens. Okay. I don't like his style of coaching, and I don't think he should be the coach of Montreal Canadiens. I just don't like the guy. Alright, uh, this one should please you a little bit more. Uh, Jacques Lemaire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, oh, what? You see, that's Cam, Cam want, likes Lemaire, but if he doesn't like Crawford's style, I hate Lemaire's style. We're just going to look at, you might as well just take, look at New Jersey and just fall asleep. You know, it's just boring hockey. Boring, boring. It's not. He's a good coach, but no. Alright, okay. Lemire is a very good coach. He used to coach my favorite team, the Minnesota Wild, but decided that he's not going to come back this year. In an interview, he was asked if he had the chance to go coach Montreal again, would he? And he decided not to comment because he was still under contract. There should be some pretty good rumors there. Alright. Yeah, rumors. Nothing more. Well, hopefully these rumors will clear out soon, and uh, the Habs will have a more clear future, like hopefully next year. I don't see it being a bad thing with the whole rebuilding. I think it's what they need. But, uh, alright, so all the uh, first round and second round picks that our guys at Transit Stop decide to choose uh, are now up on the website, so you can follow and like see who is the leader right now. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed the show. Come back next time, we'll be here. This was Transit Sports.
Peace.